guys welcome back to the contour series tutorials so for in the tutorials what we did was we created a restaurant class which has a greet customer method which greets a customer when we call this method it has a property welcome note along with a setup method the value of this property is coming from the configuration file here we have provided the value of this property and then we wrote a test class where we requested Spring Framework to provide us with the restaurant object. And when we executed the Spring application, it printed welcome to a restaurant node on the console, which is coming from Spring's configuration file. In simple words, we saw how to use Spring Framework for creating a Java object without you doing it programmatically. Now let's modify this example to see a demo on dependency injection concept using the constructor way. What we will do is we will write a T class with just a function prepare T. The restaurant class will use T class to prepare T. And for doing this we will use the concept of an interface and take help of Spring's framework to provide T object to the restaurant class to its constructor argument at runtime. Let's create an interface hot drink. Go to the package, new, and then interface. Write a name to this interface hot drink. Just to save some time, I have already written this interface. Let's go through it. It has just a declared function prepare hot drink, which T class is going to implement. So let's create the T class. Go to the package, new class. Give a name T to this class. And since this class is going to implement the hot ring interface, provide the hot ring interface here. Hot ring. Select it. Click on OK. And then finish. So the Eclipse wizard has created the T class, which is implementing hot ring interface. And here is the method which it has implemented from Hotring interface. Let's write a system.out.println message here, which just prints, dear customer, we are preparing tea for you on the console when we call this prepare Hotring function from restaurant class. Now let's modify the restaurant class. We'll take out all these earlier contents. Just to save some time, I've already written this class. Let's go through it. Restaurant is having just a function prepare hot drink. It is using hot drink interface to call a method prepare hot drink, which is written in the T class. If you observe here, I am not initializing hot drink interface value with the T object anywhere. Instead, what I am doing here is, I have written here the restaurant constructor. At runtime, Spring Framework will create the T object first and then call the restaurant constructor to pass the value of T object here as the argument. And then here, a restaurant class will initialize the value of hot drink with the T object. Now, in order to tell Spring Framework that at runtime it has to create the T object and pass it to this constructor, we'll need to modify the Spring's configuration file as well. Let's go to the Spring's configuration file. Just to save some time, I've already modified this configuration file. Let's go through it. Here I'm creating T bean and here I'm instructing Spring Framework to inject T object into the restaurant class constructor using this syntax. Not runtime when we request Spring Framework to get us the restaurant object in our test class, it will check this constructor's tag and then inject the referenced bean into the restaurant class constructor. All right, so our application is ready. Let's go in our test class and modify it to use the prepare hot ring function. 
let's run our application great it's displaying dear customer we are preparing tea for you we just saw a demo on dependency injection concept using the constructor way. In the next tutorial, we'll modify the same demo to showcase dependency injection using the setup method way. Guys, thanks for liking our tutorials and providing feedback to us through emails and comments. Believe me, your comments and feedback is really valuable to us. Do like this video if you really like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all updates on latest video tutorials and programming stuff.